Hello, everyone. My name is Ben Deal, and I am an entomologist at the Washington State University Northwestern Washington Research and Extension Center in Washington State. Welcome to this video detailing the methods and results of pre-harvest field trials that were conducted as part of the TASC grant. The objective of the pre-harvest field trials was to determine actions peony growers can take in the field to mitigate thrips before harvest. By reducing the number of thrips present before peonies are harvested, we can hope to increase the number of Alaska-grown peony buds that can be exported to the global cut flower market. To achieve this goal, WSU researchers conducted field efficacy trials of several candidate insecticides to determine which may be the most effective for eliminating thrips on peonies in Alaska. First, we will cover the methods and results of the field trials conducted in the summer of 2021. Experiments were conducted at the University of Alaska Fairbanks Georgeson Botanical Field in Fairbanks, Alaska in July of 2021. A randomized complete block design was used for all trials. This is a standard method for agricultural experiments in which similar experimental units are grouped into blocks or replicates and used to control possible variation due to spatial effects in a field. In 2021, field trials were conducted using only the Festiva Maxima cultivar, as not enough Sarah Bernhardt buds were ready at the time of the experiments. Thrips were sampled at zero, or before treatment, one, three, and five days after treatment, or DAT. There were four treatments for each field trial, an untreated control, or no pesticide, ARIA, Tall Star, and Entrust. ARIA represented the current Alaska industry standard, a translaminar and systemic product, while Tall Star served as a pyrethroid comparison, and Entrust, locally translaminar, provided an organic grower option. Here you can see two figures showing the layout of the 2021 randomized complete block design. There were three treatment blocks, plots A, B, and C. Plot D was part of a separate study and was not used in this research. To get an estimate of the number of thrips before and after the treatments were applied, there were two sampling methods used during the pre-harvest field trials. First, peony buds were destructively sampled via dissection to look for both adult and larval thrips. This protocol was used on zero and five days after treatment. Peony buds were also sampled using non-destructive techniques. This was done by tapping the peony bud several times over the top of a funnel covered with a wire mesh screen. Thrips that were dislodged from the buds then fell to a collecting vial attached to the bottom of the funnel. This method was used on one and three days after treatment. Now we can look at some results from the 2021 pre-harvest field trials. Here you can see two graphs visualizing the thrips counts for each of the four treatments. The figure on the left shows the number of thrips collected using destructive sampling on zero and five days after treatment. The figure on the right shows the combined thrips counts for both destructive and non-destructive sampling for each of the four treatments. To better understand if any of the treatments were more effective than the control or no insecticide applied, thrips counts were statistically analyzed. In this table, you can see that none of the three insecticides included in the field trials were significantly different than the control in 2021. Summarizing the results from 2021, the key takeaway is that none of the treatments were significantly different than the control treatment. Despite a lack of statistical significance in the treatment data, sampling of thrips did reveal patterns that may lead to a better understanding of thrips infestations in peony fields. Destructive sampling before treatments were applied showed that 21% of buds sampled were infested with adult or larval thrips. Both sampling methods suggested that thrips populations were highest near the center of the field during the period the pre-harvest trials were conducted. Now we will move on to the research that was conducted in the summer of 2022. 2022 field trials followed the same methods discussed for the 2021 experiments, except for a few small changes. The field layout was the same, but with new randomization for the randomized complete block design. In 2022, 
pre-harvest trials were conducted using both Festiva Maxima and Sarah Bernhardt peony buds. Finally, the timing of thrip sampling was changed slightly in 2022. Destructive sampling was conducted at zero and four days after treatment, and non-destructive sampling was conducted at two, five, seven, and 10 days after treatment. Let's look at some results from the 2022 pre-harvest field trials. Here you can see two graphs visualizing the thrips counts for each of the four treatments. The figure on the left shows the number of thrips collected using destructive sampling on zero and four days after treatment. The figure on the right shows the combined thrips counts for both destructive and non-destructive sampling for each of the four treatments. As in 2021, thrips counts were statistically analyzed in 2022. In these tables, you can see that none of the results for the three insecticides included in the field trials were significantly different than the control in 2022. However, in table two, you can see that the destructively sampled thrips counts were significantly different between zero and four days after treatment with Entrust. This was the only significant finding in 2022, but since none of the three treatments were significantly different than the control overall, it is possible this finding is unrelated to insecticide treatments. In summary, as in 2021, none of the treatments were significantly different from the control. Values were significantly different between zero and four days for Entrust treatment measured by destructive sampling, but were not different from a no treatment control. Destructive sampling showed an initial decrease in the number of thrips in peony buds. This may indicate a positive impact from treatments, but the effect was short-lived. Non-destructive sampling showed an increase in the number of thrips, which may suggest that thrips were actively immigrating into the peony fields during the field trials and any insecticide residues on the peony buds were not an effective barrier to this movement. In conclusion, the overall results for both 2021 and 2022 were similar. None of the three insecticide treatments were significantly different from the control treatment. THRIPS numbers were low during all the pre-treatment field trials, which may have contributed to an inability to measure any treatment effects in the study. Destructive sampling is an effective tool to sample thrips in peony fields, but is very time consuming and requires the peony bud be dissected and therefore cannot be sold. The non-destructive sampling technique developed in this research may prove to also be a useful monitoring tool that can quickly provide growers estimates of thrips populations in a peony field without sacrificing valuable flowers intended for export. Future studies should further expand upon the timing and frequency of insecticide applications in peony fields that display high thrips pressure and explore the synergistic effects of pre-harvest and post-harvest treatments. Prior to any application of pesticide, herbicide, or fungicide, please contact the State of Alaska Department of Environmental Conservation, or the DEC. They will help ensure that you are applying treatments safely and effectively. This is critical for both your safety and the safety of your farm and flowers. For general treatment questions, please call the DEC. For other p and &E inquiries, please contact the Division of Agriculture. Thank you for watching this video. This research was conducted in cooperation with the Alaska Division of Agriculture and funded under the Technical Assistance for Specialty Crops or TASC grant titled Eliminating Pests as a Trade Barrier on Alaska-Grown Peonies.